What is up guys, Appetite here and today I'll be showing you how to make a really cool split text inside of C4D. So uh, yeah guys, make sure to leave a like if you want more of these tutorials. Uh, they are quite fun to make and I definitely do more. So the first thing you'll need to do is get some text. I've got this text. You can call it whatever you like. I'm just going to call this text. Just why not, you know. And um, you can add the font. Uh, I normally put my depth to 50 if I'm doing this smooth type of style. But go to your caps, turn these to fill it, turn this to 10. You can change this to whatever you like. But just make sure the radius, the two radiuses are the same. So once you've done that, you're going to need to click this button with the Motex highlighted, which will make it editable. So now you see you're going to a folder like this. If we open this up, you can see we have all our letters here. Now you're not actually going to be needing these extrude nerves things. You're just going to need the spline inside. So we're going to drag that out just by dragging it like this. And as you can see, you can just see there's like a light spline here. And to make this a lot easier, you're going to click this button here. And then you're going to go to front. And I'm just going to hide the camera a minute so we can see it better. Also the circle. But um, yeah, you can see you've now got the front of your text. So you've got the T-spline here. And you want to go into spline mode, which is this one. And you can see all these blue dots will appear. And you can edit this if you like. I'm not going to, but you can do that if you want. Make sure, though, we're going to do the part where you're going to split the text. So I'm just going to split mine. I'm going to say... Hmm. Now, you see a T is hard to do with an E. You could just do it in the middle or curved, but... I'm just going to use a circle, so you're going to unhighlight this. You want to grab a circle, and you want to position this where you want to split it, and this line is where you're going to, you know, split it. So I'm going to split mine just about there. Uh, next thing you want to do is go into this tab with the array, go down to spline mask, and then you want to grab your circle and the T spline into here. Now, I think you need the T to be on the top of the circle, just make sure you do that. Actually no, it can be either way, so I'm just going to put my circle above the spline for now, but you can do that differently if you want. So you're going to click on the spline mask, and then you want to change the mode to A intersect B. As you can see, it will like single out this spline here. Now there is a problem that uh, I've had before, and actually no, it's not going to... If you moved your text and then you made it ed editable, the spline would be kind of like... How do I put this? A bit like this. And to fix that, you just need to change the Z back to zero. And just don't move your splines once you've made them editable. So now you've done that, you want to go back into the front view and you can work on your T a bit more. You want to duplicate this spline mask here by pressing Ctrl C and V. Then you want to change the second mode, which is the top one, which you just copied, into B subtract A. And you'll see that the rest of the T joins up. Now you can either just move this down or move the top one up. But I'm just going to move the splines a bit, so I'm going to grab my circle for the top one. I'm just going to pull it down like this and hold shift so it goes up in the 10s and 20s and things. So yeah, that's kind of the split text. I'm just going to make these go up by... I did that by clicking control and clicking on both of them. I'm just dragging them up. You can see our seam here gets smaller, I guess. But uh, here's a circle. You can see here that the circle's colliding with the top. So just bring that down a bit to there. So that's the T, and we're going to close these, and you want to highlight them both, and click Alt-G to put them into a group. And that's pretty much how you do the text, but before we do this actually, I'm going to grab two extrude nerves, like this, I'm going to click them both, I want to change the, this to 50, and then I want to go to the caps, fill it, fill it, and change the radius to 10, and I want to grab just one of these spline masks and put it into the extrude nerves. Like so. So now if we go to the front, you can see we have an extruded T, but these two are touching here, so we want to go back into our spine masks, and we want to grab this bottom circle here, and push that up a bit, or you can use the bottom one, I'm going to use the bottom one, just like that. And then you have split text, and you can actually put these into the T group you made, like so. And say if I wanted to make it blue and white, I'd just make a new material that's a blue, uh, whoops, I was on the totally wrong thing. I just get a nice colour. There we go. I drag the blue onto here and then drag the white onto the other extra nerves. So now you can see we have split text, and you can do this with uh, any splines you like. Uh, you can just do it normally. You can split all the letters 
But um, yeah, it's pretty easy to do, guys. This is the first tutorial I've recorded on this channel. So if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later.